morning guys we have woken up from our terrible sleeping conditions <laughs> we uh, slept on all of the couch cushions which honestly was not the greatest comfort that we could have but it was most convenient as far as moving is concerned pretty much slept through the whole night. She only woke up like two or three times so that she could eat. Thanks to Cheryl for Cheryl kept her up while we were moving stuff. So she was really tired and it was really great. And even though the cushions are kind of poopy to sleep on, I slept pretty good. I'm on my way to my checkup. It's in Mansfield so it's about a a twenty minute drive. The truck is getting packed full. I got pretty good sleep. I mean, Sarah slept, but I'm still a little tired. And my arms are sore from movie stuff yesterday. I'm just not in shape. Other than labor taking long, like it's just a long labor, um, everything else went pretty well. I didn't have any complications or anything like that, so I'm sure everything's gonna be good. What do you think of the doctor's office? This is mommy's doctor. Do you like it? All right, so I'm done with the doctors. Everything looks fine. Didn't have to get any stitches, so that is why she didn't really have to check anything out. Anyway, so I'm just on my way home. We've got to finish packing and we're turning the keys. Hopefully, Arthur's heard something from the renters and we're gonna be in our house tonight. I'm excited. Aunt Cheryl came over and she has some mythical goods from Japan. Oh, oh yeah, can't say that. She has some goods. Yeah, these are Kit Kats, but they're not English. No, they're Japanese. They're Japanese. Ones are dark chocolate ones. Maybe you get cut with a samurai sword when you open it up. And then these ones are strawberry ones. Oh, these ones down here, these are wasabi ones. Oh, wasabi God. Kit Kats? We've never tried the wasabi ones. We really love the strawberry cheesecake ones too. And then they also oh, sent they us freaking delight. melon ones, which we've also never tried. Melon Kit Kat. Why do we have some? All we have here in America is like, Kit what? Kit Kat and white. Cookies and cream. White chocolate. And white, cho <laughs> white chocolate and regular, that's it. And, well, and at Halloween they roll out an orange one. Ooh. It's not different flavored. It's yeah, it's still, it's still chocolate. But I mean, they, they might have one with nuts. That's pushing it though. I don't even know if they do. No, I don't think fun. so here. But they have like when so they this came. Still looks so weird. Why do they have fancy boxes? They came out to visit um, last year around Thanksgiving. Your family that lives in Japan. Yeah. Um, my sister-in-law Ryan's sister. They brought all these different flavors, like grape flavored ones, orange cream flavored Kit -Kats. ones. Kit Kats. Like Kit Kats. Is it just this thing they have for Kit Kats to where Japan is like, like we must make Kit Kat they crazy? They have like a million different flavors of them, and okay. we tried them, and we didn't really, or we loved most of them. There, I think, was only one that we didn't really like. I think it was the green tea one, that was not our favorite. But, but we loved the strawberry cheesecake one. Do you want one? Of course. So the strawberry one was pretty good, but what about the wasabi? Wasabi. We must have 64 grams of wasabi. I think that's Probably not. That's the calorie part. That doesn't matter. Cheryl brought up a very good point that the calories don't count since they're in Japanese. It's true. They're not real calories. They're they're, they're fake. Japanese they're calories. Japanese calories. So it doesn't matter. They don't count in America. It's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't smell spicy. Ooh. <laughs> Does it taste spicy? A little bit. It's like not as pungent as horseradish, <laughs> but it definitely is there. It's like it, you your your nose wants to flare open because you know that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But it, it stops midway. Not bad. All the places to be spot. Like there's pillows all over there, a blanket on the floor. You choose to be your daddy's tuxedo. But, you're on daddy's tux. You don't even, you don't even care, do you? Well, I for one do not trust Spot. So I'm gonna get him off. Oh, we have so much stuff still. I feel like we haven't done anything. Oh. It looks more packed. It looks more packed, I suppose. <sighs> I'm tired. 
tired. Well, I'm finally on my way to get the keys. It's currently 4.45 right now. We thought today we'd be getting the keys at noon. However, that did not happen at all. Um, maybe they had something to do, clean up, I'm not sure. Either way, they texted me saying that they're ready now. So, let's hope we get the keys. So don't tell anyone, but the dog's gonna travel with me today. Hey, Winston. All right. Oh. We didn't get the keys, but that's because we're there and they're finishing up. But we can move in now. What's wrong, Winston? Oh, bye. Winston, what's wrong? You're not used to this car? It is spooky? Yeah? Well, off we go. Winston totally loves being in the big car. And Spot always likes driving in my lap. Winston's trying to push Spot out of his seat. How rude, Winston. Now you'll be a good boy and wait here, okay? You wait. It's the house. This is our tree, which we'll put swings on, hopefully. It's super sweet. The boys really want to get out. Ah, uh -uh. no, he sees dogs. Winston, calm down. Good boy. You can see him right there. He's talking to some neighborhood people. Arthur is starting to put stuff into the house. The renters still are not out. They're still packing up and putting things into their vehicles. Sarah got hungry, so I was in here in the U-Haul with the dogs. So I fed her and she's falling asleep. So, so that's what... Are they huh? gone? No, not yet. I was wondering how you did. Oh, but I just fed her. So Arthur just handed me the keys to the house. They're not quite out, but I think they're almost finished. I keep looking in the mirror out there to see. It's about, I'm gonna say 7.30. Oh, I'm wrong. 7.51, so it's almost 8 o'clock. We still have stuff at the apartment because not everything could fit in the truck or in the car. So we're gonna have to go, well actually, we have to stop at the storage shed first, get all of that, and then get what else, the rest of the stuff at the apartment. Yes, dear? Let's go. New home. New home. Of course. Aww. He says I'm not. Uh. Oh, hold on, went in here. Going to bed. Oh. Oh, you're in the way, love. It does have a light. Our new home. Oh, thank you. There's our kitchen. If you can notice, there's a lot more lighting in this house than our last place. Woo Make sure the dog doesn't go outside. Where's it? Ah, 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 ah. Back. Get back. Yeah, ah, ah, get back. Now, after a long day's work, we have to unpack so bad, our storage fine. shed. Going, Are the doors unlocked? Mm -hmm. I even left the driver's side open a little. Oh wow. How do I do this another day, but we only have the truck today. Alright. We are complete. So now we make our way off to the house again. So how'd you cut your hand? Who me? Yeah. My hand? Oh, it's fiddle sticks. Say, are you tired of moving? Believe me, I am too. Yep. Let's go. Today has been quite the eventful day. We've packed up. We've unpacked. We've hauled, as U-Haul has us do. We've done a lot of waiting. It was... <laughs> least we could say is that it was very difficult to have to wait for the renters to finish moving out. 
They knew about three months in advance that they were going to be having a lease finished. And we even sent them a formal letter a month in advance saying, hey, we're still continuing with this. We need you to be finished. And we even bribed them. We said, hey, if you leave a month early, we'll pay you 600 extra bucks along with a deposit or whatever. Because, I mean, I wanted to be able to move in because Melissa, she needs to move in or whatever. But no, none of it went through. We were never able to move in until the day after the lease was up. The lease ended yesterday, but they didn't finish moving out until today at six o'clock, so seven o'clock actually. And needless to say, we were a little disappointed. But we're finally in, it's been a long day. I wasn't able to really to get anybody to help me. We did have one friend from church that came help us, and also Sarah helped us a whole bunch with the baby, with Sarah. But it was just a little bit more difficult than we would have liked. We're just happy that we're finally in the house. It, there's so much space in there. The dogs are having a hoot, and it's really nice. So we're moving stuff into the house, and Winston has already perched his spot up on the patio window. He's just watching us. Hello. What are you guys doing? Can I come outside? So we turned our truck in. And uh, I told Arthur to throw it far because I was like, maybe some fishy people can go in and like fish for the keys. That's our key under the desk. I didn't right. mean that far. Well, I figured you wanted it as safe as possible. So I was like, well, might as well toss it. Show off my pro West tossing skills. We're in the house. Yeah, Archer's asleep, Sarah's asleep. I just finished showering. I don't know where my makeup remover is. It's somewhere packed away. So it just looked like a regular phone, but whatever. So it's time for bed, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.